it's K. Welcome to my video guide for the Skeleton Warriors Necromancer. This build is one of my endgame builds that you can transition to after building up some currency. It focuses on skeletons as the soul damage dealers and uses serial mechanics to improve their clear speed and QOL. The build is balanced towards DPS and is not suitable for hardcore. After the showcase, I will talk about the key features of the build, the passives, ascendancy and pantheon, and gear including gems and links. Skeleton Warriors are temporary minions that uses a melee attack with high base damage. You can use the From Dust unique jewel to summon 8 in a single cast. More of Mischief makes the skillies aggressive, which gives them dash so they can teleport to enemies. You can also use Bar Summon Skeletons to summon Skeleton Army, which is really good for fighting big packs of monsters. It can also body block bosses and stop them from moving. This build focuses on physical damage with Impel, Dread Banner and Pride. Vixen's Entrapment gives you double cast. Self cast punishment to increase cast effect with Doom, then Vixen's will trigger Poacher's Mark. The builder uses a carrion golem to provide buffs and debuffs. You can also add an animate guardian if you like. Here is the passive tree for the build. Note that this achievement is anointed on amulet. You need a sovereignty cluster to reduce mana reserve. And there are also several masteries. There are two sets of cluster jewels. The large jewels are minion damage with 8 or 9 points with call to the slaughter and renewal. I also recommend feasting fiends to help keep your carrion golem or AG alive. You need one medium minion jewel with blessed rebirth, which makes your skellies invulnerable for a short time. In the small sockets, use fortress covenant Quickening Covenant, Surging Vitality, and Enduring Composure. Enduring Composure generates endurance charges when you get hit, and Surging Vitality gives a nice bit of regen. In the four jewel sockets, use From Dust and Ghastly Eye Jewels to get life and increase damage. For the Ascendancies, Unnatural Strength gives a nice buff to your minion's damage and survivability. Commander of Darkness helps with balancing elemental resist. 
And the mistress of sacrifice lets you get extra block chance from burn offering or extra cast speed from flesh offering. For the pantheon, I like to use Lunaris and Shakari for reducing and avoiding damage. Here is an overview of the gear including gems and links. Overall, the priority is to get the highest life mode on all items. For the helmet, use more of mischief. Note that the death wish ability is not used in this build. The gems are Dread Banner, Generosity, Punishment, and Skitterbots. For the body armor, boost the DPS of your skeletons by increasing the level of socket in, active, or duration gems. The gems are Varsamon Skeletons, Predator, Minion Damage, Impel, Multi Strike, and Brutality. For the gloves, use Vixen's Enchantment. The gems are Porcher's Mark, Flame Dash, Pride, and Enhance. Enhance will increase Frenzy Charge Chance, Flame Dash Cooldown Recovery, and Radius of Pride. For the boots, I recommend plus 2 to Socketed Minions, which drops in Delve. The links are Carry On Golem, Feeding Frenzy, Mame, and Empower. You can replace Empower with Animate Guardian if you like. For your main weapon, the important mods are plus 1 to minions and plus 1 to spells. You will also need an open suffix to craft trigger. The gems are Desecrate, Flesh Offering, and Level 1 Arcane Surge. You can swap to Bone Offering for extra block chance. For your offhand, you can use a shield with recover life when you block, or a second one for more DPS. The gems are cast when damage taken, immortal core, and increased duration. For the amulet, use a hunter amulet with plus 1 to int gems, or a hunter elder amulet with plus 1 to int and plus 1 to scaling number. The anointment is death attunement using clear, crimson, and silver oil. For the rings, look for or craft minion speed to help with clear speed. For the belt, use a Stygian vice to socket a ghastly eye jewel for extra life and minion mods. Lastly, the flasks are Panicked Life with Stone Chain for Bleed Removal, Jade for Extra Evasion, Quick Silver for a Speed Boost, Quartz for Phasing, and Granite for Extra Armor. As always, a big thank you to all my patrons. I really appreciate your ongoing support and encouragement. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this build guide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.